good morning thanks for joining me i hope everybody is well today today i have a haul and try on of summer dresses for you from dorothy perkins i haven't done a dorothy perkins haul for since i can remember i think i've done one other on my channel since i've had it can't remember when that was a long time ago Anyway, I was having a little look through their website, as you do, and I saw a lot of nice summer dresses. And I don't know if you remember, in a recent Day in the Life type video, I bought a couple of dresses from Matalam, and I really liked one, and I didn't like the other. But so many of you said that you liked me in the other dress, which was sort of quite a straight style. It, it's not a style that I particularly would go for normally. And bit out of my comfort zone but so many of you said you thought it was flattering on me that I thought I would try some more dresses in that sort of more straight style than what I would normally go for so the, there's a bit of everything there's some that are more my style there's some that are more straight than I'd normally pick um so yes yeah, so that's what we're doing today um for anybody new around here I am five foot three i am approximately a uk size 18 to 20 on the bottom and approximately a uk 22 24 on top um but as i very often say in these videos we don't get hung up on the sizes because sizing is just a number and it's so variable between brands even within brands i talk about this a lot but yes anyway without further ado let's get into it. i've got this big bag full of dresses to try on but there's no paperwork with the order of it's a new thing isn't it there's no paperwork with the order and um, so i don't know if they've got labels with sizes on but i will link oh, sorry i don't know if they've got labels with prices on but i will link everything in the description box below if you are interested in clicking through to find out more information and i will also for people who struggle to find the description box i'll put it in a pinned comment at the top of the comment section so go down to the comment section and it will be right at the top of there right all that having been said let's have a look at the dress when i think about it, they've all come folded and i haven't had i've just taken them out of the packets now i haven't had time to pre-iron them so apologies if anything is creased so first up we have this red dress with a sort of daisy print on it i would say that is um it's got a sheared waist at the back sort of elastication at the back um, it's got the v-neck which I very much like and it's a much more straight up and down dress than I would normally try um, I like the sleeve I think the sleeve is quite a nice flattering length with a bit of puff on the top and it's got a little tear on the bottom I'm gonna try all the dresses on today just with a pair of new wedges that is not necessarily how I'd style them um, if I was wearing them but just for the sake of ease while I'm trying stuff on I'm just gonna try them all on with the same pair of shoes okay I must add as well please excuse the state of my hair I cannot do a thing with it it is so overdue a cut and I'm having a cut in a few days time so I'm looking forward to that right this feels very fitted let me show you what it looks like full length it feels very tight across the other. I mean it's meant to it's supposed to obviously um, but what I don't like about this look I'll just show you sideways look which looks all right but when I sit down the back doesn't look great actually it's got like a fold of material sitting there where it doesn't sit perfectly I feel like this elastication is not particularly flattering um quite like the sleeves with a bit of puffiness in them I think that's good um yeah when I sit down I get great rolls of fat and nobody wants to look at that that's why I like things to be loose to fix it's all very well standing still front on but you want it to look okay from all angles I agree I'm sure if you just took it as the thumbnail photograph or me standing straight it would probably look quite flattering and to use a word you guys all love to use and I try and avoid slimming um, but just imagine it sitting down with the rolls of fat where the material is quite tight across here um, I don't think it's for me but I can see now I look at it how uh, wh why you say that something with a slimmer silhouette looks good standing up front on I agree with you um, 
I bought all the dresses in a 20 in case I haven't said that already. Um, I feel like it, yeah, it, it, it's not for me, it's beyond my comfort zone because of the sitting down and rolls of fat thing. Um, but I, I, it, I can see how, if, you, if it was just like take your photograph straight on, yeah, it would look nice. Okay, next we have this green leopard number. I don't think I realise this has a sheared body. Actually, is that, that's the back, the label's in there. Right, okay, so it doesn't have a sheared bodice. It has quite a big split up the front. Okay, that's fine, we can work with that. Um, it's got elastication on the sleeves. It's sort of cottony fabric, non-stretch. I like the print and I like the colour. Um, again, I'm wondering if it's going to have that tightness across the tummy that I'm not going to enjoy, but we shall see. Right, so while since I've tried on something with a square neckline, and it's reminded me that I don't really love myself in a square neckline very much, feel like it doesn't do the same as a V would in terms of elongating me. Um, it just feels a bit, I don't know, don't love it. Um, the back's okay, I don't mind the square at the back, weirdly, that's sort of all right. Um, you've got a bit of elastication on the back, the sort of panel there, which does a good job of shaping the dress. This one doesn't feel quite as tight over the tummy, which is good, although it has got a little bit of extra material sort of sitting there, it sort of rucks up and does the shelf bottom thing, which is never good. Um, the split is okay. It's there's plenty of material in the skirt, so it doesn't feel too exposing. Um, yeah, it, certainly better than the first one, other than the neckline. I, I haven't done the sitting down test in this one, but I think it would be better than the other one in terms of the rolls of fat, just because it feels like there's a little more give in that area. Um, I like the print. Just the neckline that's not for me on this one, I think. Okay, next we have this one. Much more my comfort zone, this one. It's got the V-neck. Looks as though it might be a little busty, but that's okay. Um, and a wider skirt. It hasn't got that straight up and down thing going on. A nice voluminous sleeve with elastication. I quite like, I usually don't like too much ruffle at necklines, but I quite like that little bit. And I really like the print on this. It feels so summery and pretty. So I feel quite positive about this one. I don't think I like it. The, I don't know if you can see this. The ruffly bit goes all the way down. Sorry, I'm exposing my bra to you there. Um, the ruffly bit goes all the way down, so it doesn't sit nicely on the bust. I don't, it's difficult to explain, but it sort of puffs out. But it doesn't sit flat. I guess you can wear it off the shoulder, which I probably wouldn't do. And I feel like it looks slightly nicer like that with the shoulders at that angle, notwithstanding the bra straps, obviously you'd need a um, strapless bra. Over the tummy, I've got plenty of material. I feel like that is far more flattering and far more within my comfort zone. Um, sits much better over my bum as well. And from the side, I feel like it looks okay as well. I really like the print of this, but the top just feels I feel a bit milkmaidy and not in a good way. Milkmaidy granny. <laughs> Is that a thing or did I just invent it? God, look at the state of my hair. Um, yeah, there's, there's things I like about this dress, but this, this bit, um, I feel is problematic. I, I, I do feel, yeah, this one's not a winner either. We're not doing too well today, are we? Halfway through and we're going for something a little bit shorter this time, although I feel I may have misjudged the length and it might be far too short. Love this colour. How pretty is that little print? Um, just re really nice colour. V-neck. Again, it looks as though it's going to be busty and it does look as though it's going to be far too short, but I'll pop it on anyway and see. Such a shame. Way too short. Now, weirdly, this again is a size 20, and this is what I mean about sizing between brands. This one feels a smidge too big on the top half. It feels like there's a lot of material under the arms. The arms feel big around the bust, feels like there's sort of extra material as well. It's a little bit, 
a lot of pleats in here. Um, lengthwise, too short, don't like this length on me. But I absolutely love the print. This is my favourite print so far. I think it's so pretty. Um, yeah, this one's not for me, based on length. But um, I feel like if this was a midi, I'd really like it. You say, back in my comfort zone, this sort of shape of dress that I err uh, towards. It's funny, isn't it, how it's hard to get outside your comfort zone and feel comfortable. I guess that's the point for comfort zone really isn't it now this is the one that i really had the highest hopes for feels quite now this is the one that i really had the highest hopes for this has got sort of like a v empire seam under the bust which i think is flattering on the fuller figure um nice sleeve and then it's straight up and down similar style similar style to that um one from matalan that you all really liked now the print isn't it wouldn't be a print that i would pick necessarily i'm not into busy ditzy prints however it was the shape that i was most interested in if the shape's perfect i could live with the print and i like the color but um let's just see okay this wasn't exactly what i thought i wonder if i'm thinking of one of the others you'll have seen it in the side by side anyway but um this one flares out more in the skirt than i thought it was going to i thought this one was going to be sort of more straight up and down. That being said, I like the underburst empire line, but then it's sort of, I, I don't know what's gone right. I think, cause, is it because it's just elasticated at the back? Although it looks quite nice over the bottom, that one. I think it's because the elastic only goes into the back that the front sort of flares out. I don't know. It's. It's certainly not what I was expecting anyway. I, I don't hate it at all. Um, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. But um, yeah, I was hoping that was gonna be a little bit straighter up and down than it turned out to be. Final dress of the day. Who doesn't love a polka dot? This one, again, is meant to be a sort of straight up and down or straight-ish um, and looks as though it's not as much. Um, I'm not sure about these sleeves. They've got this sort of smocking, sheared thing. I'm not sure that's going to be particularly attractive. I like the V-neck and I like the sort of slightly knot front. Um, the fabric on this one is stretchy as well. Um, so a bit different from the others. The others have all been sort of vi viscose cotton type fabric, you know. Um, let's see. Let's see. Final one. Fingers crossed. No. No, 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 no. This... From here upwards, yes, I quite like it. Don't even mind the sheared smocking sleeves. I think they look okay. Um, this clings right around my middle, which you probably can't see too well from your angle, but very, very clingy. Feels clingy, feels clingy on my bum. Um, don't like the fabric. Don't think the fabric. Sorry, you're <laughs> the lighting is going in and out, isn't it? Um, it's probably because the sun's shining. We're not used to having sunshine. Um, yeah, this the the waist sits weirdly on me. Um, I don't like the fact that where they've got the waist seam, they haven't matched up the dots. That's annoying. But yeah, not a good one. This one at all for me, unfortunately. Um, yeah. Well, that brings us to the end of today's try on, and I cannot recall the last time that. There was nothing I liked enough to keep. I think it's been ever, ever, once. But very rarely, anyway. Um, I suppose that's what happens, isn't it, when you go out of your comfort zone. Um, the one I liked the most from standing up, looking at it from the front, was the first one, the red with the blue, blue and white daisy print on it. I thought that was the most flattering, but as I said, too tight round the tummy when you sit down. And with the best one in the world, you don't spend your entire time wearing a dress just standing straight and only looking at people front onwards, do you? So, yeah, they're all going back, I'm afraid, this time. But it hasn't put me off trying Dorothy Perkins again. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll pop a link. As I said, I'll pop all the links in the description box. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.